The Vintage Morgan Dollar Market Series is consists of 97 coins, right? 28 Philadelphia's, 28 San Francisco's, 26 New Orleans, 13 cars and cities. There's that 21D for Denver. There's that original eight tail feather, 97 altogether. And with all of that said, there are certain coins in this series that we talk about once or twice a year, and we're on the air three days a week, 52 weeks a year. Well, this next one up, first time this year. It came as part of the big Morgan Dollar deal we've been talking about the last week, and this special isn't gonna last long. So let's take a peek and move on, shall we? Yeah, year number two from New Orleans, 1880. It's just a beautiful cherry roll. This is going to be a very short conversation. We only have a little over 20 coins. It was a roll and a half roll, basically almost 30 coins, I should say, are available at this crazy price tonight. So the Morgan Dollar series started in 1878, went to 1904, and then 1928, 20, 21, 28 years in all. Right? And Philadelphia and Denver were the, were the coast mints, the main mints, and they were doing their thing all 28 years. New Orleans was the unique mint because when the Morgan dollar was introduced in 1878, the mint was still closed. It never reopened after the Civil War. It closed during the war, never reopened. Well, the Comstock load and the need for silver in the middle of our country where all of our expansion was happening, right? Come into New Orleans, go up to Mississippi, and boom, you're over into the Midwest and you're going west. The wagon trains, so to speak, right? So we reopened the Mint in 1879, and it stays open until, well, 1909, a very short 50-year history, then it closed. So there are only 26 Morgans that are O's. But inside of that, there are a couple of them that are a bit more special than the others. And the old school of thinking, which is all we had at the time, was the guidebooks. How many did the mint make? And in this case, it was a smaller mintage than most. It was 5.3 million. So if you look at all 26 coins, this one falls in at number 11. Lucky 11. But then, many of you might have the same experience that I have. I've gone to shows where there's 100 tables, 100 different dealers to talk to and look at what they have available from their own influence all across the United States. And I might find none, zero, of certain coins that meet the criteria, which is a beautiful uncirculated coin, great detail on the obverse and reverse, homogeneous and true. You might find none. That's traditionally the 80 O. But when you now take the new chapters that are given to us, NGC, PCGS, when they joined us in the late 1980s, and they've been doing this now for almost 40 years, what they give us is just information. We process it as we will, but it helps me immensely, and hopefully it helps a bunch of you either, all as well, because it's free information. They tell us every coin they see, no matter what the grade. Every coin they see. So we can look at the mintage figures and then see if they relate to the actual rarity of the coin in today's modern market. When you look at like the 83, 84, 85 O, which are beautiful coins, I love them. We have them every month, give or take, which is not a lot when you consider we're on the air for three times four, 12 shows every month. You get one of them that might have it. There's 163 83s, 261 84s, and 255 85s. Thousand. 163,000, 261,000, 255,000 coins that NGC alone has seen in the last 40 years. The 80 O. 22,231. Again, for all of those, all the coins. So VGs to beautiful 66s and 67s, if they exist. All the coins they've seen. 
So when you look at those numbers, you look at the mintage figures, it gets skewed. Now my competition, they have this gorgeous one. They're available right now. Our normal price, let me start there, is $129.95. So we are $30 under our already crazy price. The industry is at $179 to $199. So we're at half their price tonight when you break it down. Now, I, I, when I walked into this conversation with you, I told you we that beautiful silver dollar hoard that Allie and I bumped into at a recent show has given us some just wow coins. The unfortunate thing is there's three rolls of this, two rolls of that, a roll and a half like this one that are here. So when you break it all out, we have a number of conversations to go over all this week and maybe a little bit next week. But they're not like I found a hundred of these. I wish I could. It would be more fun. I could talk for eight to ten minutes on this one versus where they're going to cut me off at six or seven. Speaking of which, I was just told with the number of coins left and the number of operators, the number of phone calls, all the variables, I got to put a 30 second clock up. So one more of those dream coins. But look at the coins. A New Orleans Mint hand-me-down machinery. They're known as, again, the, the stepchild for quality. They don't stack up to Philadelphia and San Francisco. Yet look at this. The reverse on these, you can see the breast feathers all across, which is not traditional for a New Orleans minted coin. The earlobe on the obverse, again, not traditional. So again, our normal price, save 30 bucks tonight. My competition's price, 179 to 199. Significant price discount tonight. But if you're with us tonight, you can enjoy the price. And when you get it, even more so enjoy the coin. Because tomorrow, they're going back up. Thanks for listening.